Welcome back. This is a short video about viewing assignments and projects. Once you are logged into your course, scroll down on your weekly outline until you see week one. You'll notice you have reading assignments, weekly assignments, pretest, and test. Let's scroll down to week two as well and notice that in week two there is a project. So you'll, simply, you'll notice that these are actually hyperlinks. When you hover over them, they will underline and change color slightly. Anytime you see that, that means you can click on it to see exactly what's behind it. Let's check out our reading assignment first. So we'll click on the reading assignment. The window will pop up and say read chapter 1, pages 1 to 53. That's all that needs to be done here with this reading assignment. There's no need to submit anything because it's simply a reading assignment. So let's go back. You can click on the CIS 100 new to go back to your main menu. Let's continue to scroll down here and look at week two again. Let's check out the week one, day one assignment. You'll notice the naming convention, or week two, day two assignment, is WK2D1. It's important to remember that because when you're actually completing your assignments, you will use the same naming convention. You'll put your last name, for example, Smith, space, WK2D1, space, assignment, or week two project. So use the same naming convention that you see. Let's check out the week two day one assignment. Here you'll notice is answer the quick check A, B, C, and D, and E on pages 13, 21, 28, 33, and 41. Submit your answers to an instructor in a Word document. Okay, so you see here we have a window where we can browse and upload an assignment. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do this assignment. So let's open Microsoft Word. And I'll give you a quick example on how to submit an assignment. First, I'll put my name. Now keep in mind, each instructor has their own policies on how to turn an assignment and what, they, what kind of information they want. I'm just using some generics here. So that's a week two, day one assignment. And I'm just going to put some basic information here to simulate an assignment. So once that's done, I'm going to save this. I'm going to go File, Save As. It's important to remember where you save your work. I'm going to make a folder on my desktop called ACOT Homework. In that folder, go up here and make a new folder, I'm going to put another folder with the name of my course, CIS 100. And so I can keep track of what I'm doing. I'll put my last name WK2D1 assignment. So if I'm ever asked to turn in something again, I can easily find it. So let's save this. Now it's time to go back to eLearn and turn in my assignment. So it says here, do in a Word document and submit it via eLearn. Now this is eLearn. So first thing I'm going to do is hit browse. I'm then going to go to my desktop. I'm going to look for my ACOT folder. I have a very crowded desktop. So it's going to take me just a moment to locate it. There it is, ACOT homework. So double click and then of course I have my CIS 100 course and there I have it. There is my assignment. Now if you see this little squiggly line, that means the file is still open. So before I actually upload this, I'm going to right click and close my assignment so I don't have any trouble uploading it to my instructor. Oh, ACOT homework, CIS 100, week 2, day 1. Now keep in mind your instructor is going to go over this in class. This is simply additional assistance if you get lost along the way. Once you see the path here, you can click upload this file. File uploaded successfully. Once you th see this, hit continue and you'll be returned back. And now you'll notice that you've already completed this assignment because your file will appeal, will appear here. So now that I'm finished, I can go back to my course, and I can do my second assignment if necessary. Projects are done the same way. This has been a short video on how to view assignments and projects and turn them into your instructor. Thank you.